What's up guys? It's Khalil with Pinpoint Fridays and I got the homie right here. Who are you? Not East man from your group 31 Republic stand up and we're right here about to get higher than 10 joints with my man Pam Point. We're gonna go ahead and talk to Naris about a lot of different things that's going on in his life, his new projects and all that stuff. But before that, you know what we gotta do. Let's roll to the, the intro. intro. collided in orbit i had decided that i would try it excited but frightened inside it tell me what's going on in your life yeah man you know we uh we in 2020 we about to embark on the debut album release of my solo album titled 31 republic as so yeah man i'm excited man 15 years of recording you know various EPs and working with multiple artists just to get to this point of really feeling confident and putting out a debut album that I can stand behind, proud of. You know, I'm really excited to share it with the world, you know? That's dope, it's brother. Big things, man. Are you attached to it personally? Is there some personal stuff on this album? Uh, yeah, man. It just touches, like, everything, you know? Everything from within the past 15 years of recording. So I really, I really made it an album with a lot of variety. I'm not expecting everybody to love the album song for song, yeah. but I guarantee you that you're gonna love one song on that album. Dope. I don't know which one it is, but that's what's exciting about this album, man. I've actually heard some of the album, and I'm, don't worry, I'm not gonna give anything away, but man, this album's fire, guys, so you definitely gotta check the homie Naris out, man, because he's got some fire and some very inspirational uh, thoughts behind it, too, so. What's up, brother? There he goes. Playing some Wayne. That's the homie right there. Playing some Wayne. Oh, man, that's our background music right there. We don't even need that. five Wayne. I know, right? I heard him earlier <laughs> as I was parked. That's what's up, though. But yeah, man, just, you know, really excited for this album. Excited for, uh, you know, 2020 is a lot of big things happening for me. But the release of this album, pushing it in a major approach, an independent approach. Because I'm not going to major labels. Obviously, I'm an independent artist. Uh, yeah, man, we're just going about it in a way where, you know, it's all self-made. You know what I'm saying? And it's all about networking and reaching out to people. I mean, like, shoot, if it wasn't for this album, I wouldn't have met this man right here, Penpoint. Yeah, man. Penpoint. You know, that's an interesting story, guys. So, bro, like, we met uh, last year. It was at the ninth anniversary for uh, B -side, B -side the B-Side show. Shout out B-Side show, Shout what's up? Shout out B-Side show. What's up Rabbit, what's up Shay? Everybody over All there. All the homies, man. Crazy Race, what up? So yeah, uh, that was dope. Uh, I met the homie right here. How did I, can, you can tell my audience yeah, like. Wanna tell the story? Like, yeah, I want you to uh, tell I'll, I'll tell the story. It's probably right, better. Man. So yeah, we recently met, we're in 2020 now, but we recently met at the B-Side show. Um, I strolled through, I was uh, one of the guests at B-Side show like, in its early days we talking like year one of beat side show so we go back and seeing that they're at nine years i decided to stroll through they know i play the guitar as well that's a little bit of interesting fact as well i'm a very versatile musician play yes. all types of instruments but that's besides the fact took the guitar you know they wanted me to play a little something play a little something and something that i always like to do when i bring an instrument is i like to get mcs or singers to just jump on and freestyle to it, you know? It's just keep say like, you know, 100, you know what I'm saying? But uh, nobody wanted to jump on, man. <laughs> nobody wanted to jump on until <laughs> this guy right here. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy got <laughs> off the camera and said, hey, I'm gonna jump on. And he killed that shit. And since then, yeah, homeboys, thanks, man. homeboys. That's you know right, that's right, my that's man, my dude. Little did I know this guy was such a dope rapper until he came to my studio, played some of his shit, did some freestyles with me, and then I was like convinced. I was a believer in not East. <laughs> and I knew one day we would do this interview. You got a really cool uh, style. It's different than what I've heard before. Yeah, see guys, we're on a uh, bike trail right now. Yeah. We're over here by the El Monte Airport. Very dope, very dope. And I think there's a plane coming above. Ooh. Oh, that was perfect. That was beautiful. That was perfect. Beautiful. Yeah, we got it. That's awesome. Film work. You can't, you can't, you can't write that type of shit. You can't get that kind of shit. That was beautiful. Nice. Um, so yeah, guys, we got walkers and talkers, and that's what we do here. Yeah, man. You know, we walk and we talk. 
what is your inspiration for writing? Like your process um, could be a number of things as far as like writing to a beat, not writing to a beat, just freestyling, being influenced by something that you, you're going through in your personal life. Like what, what are some of the things you do with your writing process? Yeah, man. Uh, great question, bro. Um, well, before I start like rapping or doing any type of hip hop or taking it serious at all, I was a poet, man. Like, I used to just write poetry when I was a kid. Like, it was just a nice scapegoat from just everything going on in the world. Crazy, right, as a kid. But then, as I got more introduced into hip hop and rap, I started to realize, like, hey, this is kind of what I'm doing just to a rhythm. You know, I think I could do this. So, that was really what transitioned me into getting into, like, hip hop and rapping. Creative process, it's, um, you know, I like to play with words like puzzles, man. Like, I look at words and I look at pattern schemes, and I like to, I like to create like multiple bars of just pattern schemes. You know, like to me, that's fun. Right. Um, but then it's also about the content too. Like, you can't be just saying some nonsense. I mean, yeah. if it sounds cool, I guess you know, <laughs> go for it. But right. Um, I also like to just have some content within my my music as well. You know have some sort of message whether it's a party or you know something serious or something personal right uh, you know whatever the case may be whatever the feeling is at the moment is also a big part of what you know comes out of the final product all right man that's dope are you single uh, I'd let my pinpoint audience know like what's very up? much single very much single very much ready to mingle yeah. Um, there you go. Because he's too fly is what he is. He's just too fly. Hey. hey. There it is. <laughs> so I got a joke for you. Okay. Why did the duck why did the duck get arrested? The duck get arrested. Oh man, I don't know. He was selling quack! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. See if you guys can see it. There it is. They're like small planes. You know what I'm saying? There it is. Exciting stuff, guys. El Monte Airport. So, it's Pinpoint TV, baby. But I got a question for you, Pinpoint. Yeah, what's up? What are your goals for 2020, baby? Man, 2020, I'm trying to get big artists like yourself, anybody that's doing big things and okay. inspiring people, I want to get them on this show. They could be like somebody that's not out yet or somebody that is out, but I definitely want to inspire people with this show. I feel like Pinpoint Fridays is an inspirational show. It's for artists and entrepreneurs. That's really what it is, man. It's just about inspiring others. When somebody watches one of my episodes, I want them to be inspired to go out and you know, pick up a camera or pick up a microphone or pick up whatever they gotta pick up to pick up their life and then just like move forward in a positive direction. I respect that 100, man. That's real shit. How about we pose real quick and then I'll take a screenshot of it. Like, you look that way, I'll look this way. All right, dope. I think that would work. You guys like it at home? I know you do. <laughs> El Monte has ajos y saboyas. Now, if you guys want to sponsor me, just give me like free chilaquiles. <laughs> chilaquiles. And um, you know what's another good spot at El Monte, though? Like yeah. here in the city of El Monte. Yeah, what's up? Arts Burgers. If you guys don't know about Arts Burgers, I'm going to fucking double down right now. Oh, you sure. got it on the record right now. If I had a choice between In N Out and Arts, Arts all the way. Okay, so we're going there after. Arts all the way. We're gonna get some fries or something. Oh yes. All right. Yeah. Oh, yes. Arts Burgers it is, guys. You can meet us there. Um, if we were live streaming, but we're not. But Sponsor me, Arts. Arts. Sponsor me. Sponsor Nadis. He's definitely uh, uh, worthy of it. Wow, that shit don't even sound like there's an engine in that it. That was so quiet. That shit's quiet. Oh, all right, guys. Now it is, but. You see what we're doing, guys? So we're walking we're and talking. Yeah, we walking. That's like how we talking. do it. That's walking and talking. We walk and talk, so we get exercise at the same time as. Is this the concept uh, of Pinpoint Fridays? Or yes. What, what is the concept of Pinpoint Fridays? You know, if I right may now, ask. at this moment, as you just mentioned that, uh -huh. I feel like that is the concept. The I concept is walking and talking is going to help us like get in better shape, yeah. especially me, because I got to drop like twenty. <laughs> Likewise, man. My 
my ass don't look like it's big, but trust me, it is <laughs> much bigger than my ego. Why you think I wear these big ass hoodies? <laughs> Shit's but like no, Friday. I like it. I like the whole concept of Pinpoint Fridays being about walking and talking, man. Like you get your exercise, you feel healthy, and we're giving you some wealthy minds, right? That's right, guys. There it is. So you heard it from the man, Nalise. Hello, yeah. Did you miss me? Act a motherfucking fool in a pipsy. Sorry, y'all, but I've been a bit busy putting in work, stacking chip, extra crispy. Yippee-ki-yay, I went back to school when I was once in college, drop out like Kanye. To anyone who's heard me rap, will say I got flames. Now my ice cold, outcasted like Andre. Three stacks, yeah, I need that. To get up on a higher food chain, weed snacks. Focused way too long on the feedback, but now I'm back. So back up, bro, relax. Didn't care when I was up or even down. Catch your nails, 2017 Cleveland. Browns and stay woke while your ass sleeping sound. I was off, but now I'm found and I'm not leaving town. Baby, shit's so crazy. But that same shit straight fit me amazing. Cause I stay lit even though I quit blazing. Bro, my click make hits that's banging. Every so often, yo, we link up. Give you something you ain't never think of. Listen close as we sync up. Hey, if you guys really like Pinpoint Fridays, which I love, subscribe to this page right here. Pinpoint Fridays, y'all. Subscribe now.